Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy with Hope Designs and I am doing um, the week three collaboration with Mona and Jody. Mona is from Mona Rosa Art and her um, channel will be listed below. Well, her video for our collaboration will be listed below. And Jody is from The Painted Dreamer and I'm going to list their videos as well below. So this is our third week collaborating and what we did is each week one of us picked a color scheme for a bloom. So the first one was earth tones. The second one was aqua and purple, pink and like a magenta or a red violet with a gold. And so this week it's my turn to pick and I was trying to think of something that was a little bit different than what we had done so far and so I kind of ran a couple ideas by the ladies and we agreed on doing blues and if you wanted to add you know an accent color I didn't want it to be like super restrictive or you know if you wanted to do white or you wanted to do gold or copper or silver or whatever or even another accent color interference colors whatever but I thought it would be fun to do like blues, maybe kind of a mix of blues and teals and greens, or turquoises rather. That's too much paint, I'm pretty sure. I always do that, right? I always do too much pillow paint, but oh well. Anyways, we're doing the bloom technique. So this is the pillow paint. This is the Glidden Premium Eggshell. Um, I love this pillow for white. I will say this is the same gallon I use. This batch, last couple batches, has had more... Um, sorry, that was my dog. It's had more bubbles than usual. Anyway, if you saw video number 146 on my channel, I did these colors on kind of a coaster tile set. I'm going to deviate just a tiny bit, um, and I want to do it on this 8-inch wood round. So I'm going to incorporate some interference gold and blue from Color Art. So I'm going to kind of layer those intermittently throughout. In fact, I think I'm going to put a little bit down underneath our first color. Um, just because we're going a little bit bigger, so I thought it would be cool if these kind of peeked through where the pillow paint peeks through a little bit. So we'll see. Um, so the first color I used was... Amsterdam turquoise blue and some of these I've had mixed up for a little bit so I'm gonna use them up for the most part this is a little bit thick but there's not a lot left in here so and I like a lot of color so I'm probably gonna make kind of a big initial puddle this is also a little thick so I'm kind of making smaller circles of it so that if it's too thick it doesn't impede the blowout too much because it's been mixed up for a while. So I ironically had most of these still mixed up from when I made that set to try out the colors. I just really loved how the blues looked with the golden honey prism pour because it's such a beautiful soft gold. And so I just loved the combo. So obviously it's going to look a little bit different going bigger than a smaller um, like four inch tile because it's going to spread out differently. But um, we're going to see. So the next color is Interference Gold. And I'm probably going to layer the interference maybe even lightly in another layer or two for giggles. And then Amsterdam Pearl Turquoise. Yeah, no, not Amsterdam. Arteza, sorry. Sometimes I just say that because I see the A and my brain is tired. 
So anyway, um, while I'm layering paint, because this is probably a little bit boring, um, this has been a really fun collaboration to see how we can all have kind of a similar color scheme and how it turns out very different. So just it's a really fun way to see how the creativity kicks in, you know. So it's been, I have really enjoyed it because, and I'm sure that um, my lovely friends can echo this sentiment. I think as artists, sometimes we stick to colors that we all like. And sometimes I think art really challenges us to um, enjoy other colors that we probably wouldn't think about as much because um, they're just not the same taste as what we might have. So a little more interference blue. So anyway, I really have enjoyed this a lot. After this, we have Midnight Blue. So Midnight Blue is from Matisse. I don't know if I can use all of this Midnight Blue, but I kind of would like to because it's been mixed up for a little bit, but I'm just afraid it'll completely take over. But I don't know if it really will. I might just add some more interference on top of it because, again, this is double the size of the previous pour, so it might be just fine. And again, this has been mixed up a really long time. So, so anyway, this has been really fun for us. Um, depending on how successful this one is, I was thinking about doing another quick color variation at the end with maybe a black pillow and a different shade of blue. But we'll see how this one goes. So stay tuned in case I do something wild. And then... I think on top of this, I'm going to do, just to make sure it doesn't completely take over, I'm going to do a little bit more interference gold and a little bit more interference blue, just to kind of soften the, the punch of that midnight blue. I really love Matisse paints. I have not found one that I have that I don't like. and. Um, they, for me, they work really well in blooms. So the last color, second to last color, we're gonna do is Australian Blue Gum. This is another Matisse. It's a little thick. I think it's gonna be okay. We'll swirl it around a little bit. I'm not gonna use it all because we're just kind of maxed out. I like the subtle, almost aqua green, pale color that this has, because it really, um, it adds a nice contrast in its own weird way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use Golden Honey Prism Pour by Color Art. Sorry, my pool is trying to go the other direction. Okay, you guys are still in frame. Oh, I'm already eight minutes in. Good grief. So if I do the other bloom, it'll have to be fast. All right. I'm going to do this a little bit, swirl it out just a little bit. But I'm going to put a pretty decent puddle in the middle. And I'm going to use a white cell activator. I just mixed it up, so I haven't really tested it to see if the consistency is good. It seems to be. And I think that we're probably okay on the gold. I don't want it to completely take over, but it's such a beautiful color. Okay. All right. And let's see. Cell activator. I'm trying to do better at not using my blower all the time because I need to get better at blowing things out with other devices. But I don't really like to do that when too much when we're doing collaborations because then I feel like 
I don't want to get up against the time limit and not be ready to release the video. So, sorry about my dog scratching. I still have another little clip of them I need to add for you guys. I keep forgetting to add it to the video. So cell activator is three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Titanium White. I measure it sort of, but it's really more of a consistency thing. And I also struggle with using too much on a bigger piece because I'm still trying to find that balance. So eh, if it has a lot of white, then sorry. I'm trying to get there. There's really a lot that goes into getting this right sometimes. All right, I'm going to blow it a little bit with my mouth before I spread it out a little bit with the dryer. That wasn't my best work. Oh, I should have waited on that part. See this? I messed up with right here, but it was doing pretty good over here. One day I'll learn. I'm going to let it come back in the center and see if I can't help that a little bit. But this is what I don't like about using this on larger pieces is... It just doesn't wide mouth enough to kind of get what you're going for, but a lot of this you end up spinning off, so sometimes it's kind of okay. I think sometimes I want it to be too symmetrical too and I need to maybe learn to chill a little bit. So I know you guys can't fully see what I'm doing but I'm trying to catch, whoo, makes me dizzy, where there's a little bit of cell activator and help it kind of roll over that edge. Not helping in some places. I'm going to spin it a little bit. Because some of this will chill out a little bit as I spin it. Still too much here, but I can live with it. So let's spin it a little gently. I have too much paint again, which honestly may have rescued me this time. I may not get a bonus bloom in here. This is a long video already. There's one funky looking cell in the middle here, but I'm going to choose to not obsess but I love the colors I really need to replace this puppy pool and uh, line it it's just covered in paint okay now this is where I kind of messed up the blowout but 
think it's all right. Spin it a little bit more, a little faster. My hope is that where that funky blue cell is in the middle, that it'll calm down a little bit and some of the other stuff will come through. I think once it dries, it will look fine. Because when I, sometimes when I edit videos after I'm like obsessing about something, it looks fine to me. <laughs> and I would have been like really bothered by something. Plus this is part of going bigger is learning to give yourself a lot of grace with the process of, you know, kind of adjusting the surface level and how much paint you need and how much cell activator you need. And there's some sort of globby thing right here. I can see it and I hope that this doesn't ruin it. Usually you can get it without it ruining it, but Okay, there's definitely still too much paint. I'm too close to the edge too. I probably need to be careful how I spin, huh? So in my opinion, once you're kind of at that point where you're just needing to spin off a little, you don't want to get too aggressive with your spinning because over spinning or spinning too quickly sometimes gives you these like droopy cells. And if you're just trying to get enough paint off the canvas, you really don't want that. So I just realized that I had this camera kind of angled for when I videoed a Dutch pour and it may not be giving you the best angle. So I'm gonna give you a close up in a minute, but it's not perfect. There's some gorgeous cells right here, really beautiful lacing toward the edge. I used too much cell activator, but hey, that's part of the process. I did mess up the blowout a little bit here, but overall composition wise, it's way better than I anticipated because this is still a growth journey for me to comfortably blow those out, especially with a small blower. Um, so, you know, I usually do four to six inches. This is an eight inch one. I haven't done that many of them yet. This size that I've been happy with. So I'm happy. The Prism Pour Gold creates the most beautiful sparkle. So if I have to call it a win, I'm going to call it a win. I'm gonna spin it one more time, kind of gently. Make sure that we have enough paint off the surface. I did prime the wood brown because wood breathes and it causes bubbles and stuff, but I will finish it with resin. I will say though, wood does continue to breathe. It will give you some bubbles. It'll give you bubbles in your resin. So generally speaking, it's good to prime a wood round. The wood round is from Loli Veffy, and this is the thicker edge one. So it, it is cradled. Um, it's just, it's, I think like an inch side versus a half inch. Um, I really like them. I've used them before. I have a bunch of them. And Adriana tells you in the packaging to prime them first. So I think it's definitely recommended. So anyway, I really enjoyed these colors. I did mix up some dark blue and I kind of wanted to do um, a dark colored blue bloom for this week too, but I think this video is a little bit long, so stay tuned. I might play around with those colors in a pour coming up soon. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this collaboration. Um, Jody and Muna are wonderful friends and artists, and I love working with them and getting to share in their creative juices. Um, if you're not subscribed to their channels, please do subscribe. Um, their links are below for this week's collaboration. They're wonderful artists, wonderful friends, um, just beautiful people. And they're um, just great about sharing their art and tips with you. Um, there is a 20% off promo code for Color Art. Anything on the Color Art website listed below. That's where I got the Golden Honey, uh, where I got the Interference colors used today. And 
um, just amazing, amazing colors. So the new colors are coming. So I'll be going live soon to show you guys those colors. So stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And our social media links are also below, uh, as well as our Fluid Art Friends Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your continued support. And I'm going to pause you for a second, rinse off my hands, and bring you down for a close-up, okay? All right, so uh, I know it's hard to tell where the wood round ends and the <laughs> turner begins. I have turned off the ring light, so I'm going to give you a close-up with my flash on. Check out the sparkle. It's pretty delicious, this golden honey color. But my favorite parts are where that lacing is, because I just love the blue color, especially with the hints of gold. This is where I didn't do the greatest job on my blowout. But I'm getting better. I'm going to have to be patient with myself. My husband always says I'm too hard on myself. So does my, my stepdaughter. She's like, you're too tough on yourself. So I also love the color right here. I really like it, guys. So this one will be available for purchase. It's going to need to be resined and all that jazz. Um, but it's an 8-inch round. It's got somewhat deep edges there. But I, I really like the way it turned out. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. Bye.